Hi friends, my name is Tanish. Today I am telling a story about King Midas and the Golden Touch. Many many years ago, there was a king named King Midas. The king was very very rich and he had a lovely little daughter. He had so much gold but he always wanted more gold. One day in his treasure room when he was counting his money a fairy appeared. The fairy told I will give you one wish. What do you want? I want more gold said the king. But you already have more gold. Why do you want more of it said the fairy. King said that everything I touches would turn to gold. I wish that everything I touches would turn to gold, said the king. The fairy said, all right, your wish will grant from tomorrow. Early morning, the king woke up very early and he was eager to see if his wish came true or not. He touches this bed lightly with his hand. As soon as he touched the bed, it turned to gold. The king was happy. And next, he touched a chair and a table. And they also turned to shiny yellow gold. The king was extremely happy. He was running around the room, touching everything he see. At last, the king was tired and he wanted to drink some water. But as soon as he touched the glass of water, it turned to shiny gold. He couldn't drink any more water. The bread and he wanted to eat some bread. The bread, if he touched the bread, the bread just turned to yellow shiny gold. The king was hungry. He couldn't eat anything. Suddenly, his little daughter came running into the room. The king gave her a big hug. But as soon as the king touched her little daughter, she turned to a golden statue. The king had a feeling of great fear. He ran to the fairy and told, Oh, fairy, I don't want this horrible gift. Take it away. Take all my gold. Take everything. Just give me back my daughter. The fairy told, Do you still think that the gold is the best thing in the world? No, no, cried the king. And the fairy told, All right, take this water and sprinkle it around all have you touched and turned to gold, said the fairy. King took the water and ran to his daughter. He sprinkled the water on her head and she suddenly she could move again. She was no longer a golden statue. The king was overjoyed. From now, the king hated gold, but he is extremely happy because he got his little daughter. More important than gold is love, friendship, family and nature. Thank you.